global death toll from this pandemic is now over 7,500 and there are more than 190,000 cases. As the coronavirus pandemic brings life across the country to a grinding halt, Americans are facing a new normal. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Today is day one of being stuck at home because of the coronavirus. Yesterday afternoon, the governor of Arkansas issued that all the schools in Arkansas shut down for the next week and basically we're all just stuck at home. The first day's already done, you know, it's almost six o'clock at this point. I'm finished with all my classes. We did online classes all day, we video called, and then we were done. I expected it to be a lot more stressful, but it was actually a simple laid back day. I'm just letting everything fall into place at this point, and yeah, that's today's update. Good morning. It is currently day two of being home from the coronavirus. So it just got word that there are now two confirmed cases in Garland County, which is where I live. And that's a little bit concerning, but we've just been told to distance ourselves from others. I'm still at home so far as of 9.25 AM, no one's here. Just me and my family still. Whoops. After all my classes were done, I went out to go eat. I'll insert a picture of what Panda Express looked like when we walked in. We weren't allowed to sit down anywhere. All the chairs were gone. And we basically ordered our food, waited, and then we got it to go. We couldn't sit down, we had to get it to go. I did feel weird afterward, just going in public and it's like no one's there. Overall, slow day once again and besides that i will keep you updated today is wednesday day three i haven't been doing much today just in my work and then scrolling through social media for a few hours literally all of my twitter feed is just full of coronavirus news and to get my mind off the things i did my art homework um i started drawing went through my sketchbook a few times got stressed out about that too so i resorted to my math homework which that's always boring my english homework i got that done I decided to just hop back on my phone and look through YouTube and everything just to clear my mind, Snapchat too. Thankfully I trapped my cat in my room all day long so she can't leave so she keeps me the most company. I tried to lay down with her just to say hi, you know, chit chat, but she literally spit out her food and walked away from me. So once again, another laid back day of nothing. We'll see what tomorrow brings us. So. The governor just announced we have three more weeks of online schooling. I honestly don't know if I can take three more weeks of this because this has been the most boring week of my life. It's just it's so boring at home. <laughs> All I've done today is pick at my face, eat a sandwich. I may go outside with my dog for a while. one of being on quarantine is finally done and overall the experience was pretty just boring. I mean, being at home for a week was a struggle because I love getting out of the house. Three more weeks of this is going to be very long and hard and difficult for me, but as long as we're being safe, you know, that's the number one priority here. There's word going around that we don't know how long we'll have to stay home doing online school. I don't know how long I'll last just staying inside all day long. 
I really miss school because I had such a good routine waking up in the morning, getting dressed and ready and everything. But hopefully this all clears up really soon because I really miss school. I miss getting out of the house and seeing everyone every day. So yeah, that concludes five days of being in quarantine.